Great here, welcome back to Factorio. So, for me, it's been about, I don't know, a week and a half since I played this last. In fact, I've actually put in uh, about 30 to 40 hours into another Factorio campaign. So, I need to reacquaint myself where I am on this one. That one is actually a modded run. I played it because I got so far ahead on this one. I was loving playing this one that... Uh, I needed to, to get my Factorio fix or I was going to run away with this one. So, I think, yeah, I think we're at the point where we want to start on the final push for the rocket. In fact, let's check. Yeah, I'm uh, researching the rocket silo. So once the rocket silo gets up and running, we'll see what it needs to complete and uh, start working on that. I have no idea how close we are. I've never, well, like I said at the onset, I've never launched a rocket, so who knows? I could be really close. I could be quite far away. Hmm. Yeah, the chest is full. That's all well and good. I'm just curious. I'm making a whole 500 plate a minute. Wow. That is kind of low, actually. That's right, I've got these... These set up. Okay, I know what I can do. Let's get down here. I'm not used to having a factory where I don't have everything concreted out. Hmm. Okay, I've got these made. Where... Oh, they're down here, right. Okay. I was looking for this right here. So I'm making productivity modules. I'm making speed modules. That is good. I'm going to grab both of those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here to my iron production. Can these take... Yes, they can. And do I have the capability of making these? Yes, I do. In fact, I make them all the time. So... Let's put three... Uh, go with the three and one ratio on... on these machines right here. And let's re replace all of these so... I'm using less resources making science. Where are my... What this 3 to 1 ratio does, let me, let me get these machines put together and I'll show you. So putting three productivity modules in one speed module means that this machine at the uh, after all of that produces 12% more goods out of what it what it generates so for each uh, when this bar fills up 12% um, of the time it'll actually produce two of these instead of one and that saves a lot of materials the speed module but uh, the productivity modules slow the machine down the speed module speeds it back up so if I only went with if you look down in the corner, number of, uh, or crafting speed is minus 25%. So if I put a fourth in here, the crafting speed is at negative 60%. So by putting the three in one, oh, uh, but I only get 4% more productivity. So by putting one speed module in there, I'm offsetting a lot of the negatives from the productivity modules. In fact, the crafting speed normally is 1.25. So, yeah, it's it's a pretty big dip when you've got all four in there. This is a, a, a really good ratio to shoot for. And it saves you a lot of materials in the long run. Which, for the rocket launching, it's going to require a lot of materials. Uh, do I have a blueprint... 
No, oh, my book is over here. Let's see. Well, I got a blueprint for brick, but I don't have it for concrete. Okay, well, let's rectify that. I want concrete, please and thank you. And let's at, le at least get the path redone real quick. We'll just get the construction robots working on the path so I can run around the base a bit faster. In fact, what is my... Uh, let's see... We have 700 construction robots, 700 logistics robots. Gotcha. And let's get this fixed up. This will keep them busy for a while. And oop, well, I don't care about that little little part that goes down. And all of this as well. Just all of it. Oh, got the perfect amount to fill this in. Nice. Okay, why do I have brick coming all the way over here? It's because I do not have storage chests closer on the other side. Got it. So for this, I'm going to need a bunch more storage chests. Let's up our, uh, let's see, 200 on that. I'm going to want 100 here. I really need to re-evaluate re all of these. Here I need let's get underground underground but only twenty of those because I don't use those that often. And the big poles, I don't use the big poles that often. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blank out that spot. And this lower spot is going to be where why do I have so many active provider chests? Anyway, this lower spot's gonna be where when I need something out of the network. Uh, manually, that's where I'm going to request it. You know, uh, one-off stuff is what I mean to, meant to say. Yeah, everything over here is just completely full. And it's because I'm storing coal. That's right. Okay, so do I want to keep storage over here? I am snaking iron through. I might want to increase my iron production throughput to here at the beginning of the bus. So keeping stuff stored here at the beginning of the bus, kind of, eh, kind of not good. So where's a good place for storage that I'm not going to rip up all that often? I know a good spot. How about... Uh, got six of them right here in between my engines I, I put this spot here but I'm probably never going to rip this up and replace things so this is a good place for some spare storage let's just cram out a whole bunch of these real quick wait why am I making these by hand stop 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 I know I'm making those in the network somewhere. Shut up, Windows. I really don't like Windows 10 for that. It has way too many notifications where it's like, Hey, I got a Navi you. Listen, listen, you need to reset. Shut up. There we go. Give me more storage chests. Yeah, they're doing a, a, a decent job here. Okay, where's my bonuses? Achievements, bonuses. So, consider 
capacity bonus so my inserters get two i've got a cargo size of two so they can bring me three at a time it looks like yeah that's good okay i don't need any more oh um let's not have this middle in my other campaign i have a mod called squeak through that lets me just get through little gaps like that and apparently it's not in this one so let's actually where do i want to put more i would put more down here but well no i bet you what i can do is if i route this up Like so. Now, I can put down more chests here. Let's dump out the last of these. That should be good enough for now. Okay, we're getting getting our path up and running. We're working on rocket silo. How many of these do I have? I have two, four, six. I have 16. I've actually standardized on 20, but I don't feel like trying to rip up this my iron path right now and rerouting it to get this further out I wonder if there's a way that I could squeak four more in here and I think I see a way so let's get the the four labs up and running and what I can do is route this on the outside like so Where are my four labs? I don't care about the solar panels. What would I like to have down there? Uh, not labs. Rail. Yeah, let's lock rail in there for right now. And labs. There we go. So... Two, three... And four. No, 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 no. Because then I have to route the blue and the purple. But I can cram these in right here. Have them pick up from there. That robo network can't move, can't or robo port can't move, can it? So instead, let's get this routed down. I, you know, build it out first. I was hoping to squeak it in there, but I can't. So, do, 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 labs, labs, labs. We'll just put it here and here. You can have all of my science. There we go. So now I've got. I've got my 20 labs. Good. I think that's that's all I'm going to go in the labs. So let's get more productivity and uh, speed modules. We 
which are down here. Wait. Looks like my power is faltering. Yes, it is. That's not good. Well, I think I'm going to bite the bullet and actually, with the, the amount of oil production I've got, I don't know why I insisted on this, this setup with the steam engines. I might want some accumulators, if nothing else. That's the traditional setup. Right. I was working on these. And I actually need... There. Do I have more? No, I don't. Well, for the time being, where's my speed modules? Get these on the same ratio. And... There we go. And at least get these started up. Like so. Okay. I if I don't recall, do these actually increase power consumption as well? Yes, they do. So by doing this, I'm also radically increasing my power consumption. And I'm having power problems. Double. Let's take a look at... Yeah, my steam engines are running too much to actually build up any extra water. That's the problem on why this is not working correctly. So, how are we doing? Still need more construction robots, it looks like. Well, this will keep them busy for a while. Concrete all the things. We start to here. There. So do I want to go with accumulators? Do I want to... Well, at the very least, I need more solar panels. I need to get my engines up and running. I mean, get the engines off during the, the the day so the boilers can get the hot water going. So there's my solar. So let's drop down more solar panels. Oh, huh, nice little seam there. There we go. Nope, I can't put anything there. Okay. So let's take a look. Yeah, we need... I'm making 34 megawatts. We're pushing up to 50. So I need another 10 megawatts of solar just to get the engines off during the day. So let's get this routed down like so. Uh, I've got more more space over here. So let's get more solar on this side. Well, 
What is that? Oh, it's for that RoboPort. Got it. So we'll let that fill out. Here's the, the, the bane of Factorio. There's 600 things that need to be placed and you don't have it in the network. Beep, beep. A little bit later, there's still more things. Beep, beep. And it's all, all of this concrete. Let's go take a look at the outpost. And actually take a look at the network in general. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's my button to get out. And I want some gates. Gates, gates, gates. Okay. Oh, I've got plenty of stuff up here. Yeah, and this is all protected by lasers. Yeah, I definitely need to get the, the power working again. Look at this. This is just not good. Of course, my power consumption is up because I have my construction robots doing a lot of work and they're draining power out of the RoboPorts. One of the... Ow. How did I hit that? I was about to say, one of the benefits of all the playtime I have in the other... <laughs> the other uh, game, the modded game, is I learned how to drive cars, finally. So let's look... Yeah, see, 6.1 megawatts just in robots. So, let's... You know what, I'm worried about pollution. But the easy solution to this power problem is actually another line of boilers. That's the short-term solution. So let's get another offshore pump. I need a bunch of stone. Fortunately, I happen to have a stone chest right here. So let's get another 14 boilers. One, two, three, four. And another 10 engines to, to start with. Now, right, I've got a bunch of solar down here. Oh, I already have a third line. Ew. Well, looks like I'm going to have to think about this. I'm going to put a cut in here and kind of look around see see if I want to start up with accumulators. I know they're there. I was just hoping not to use them. But then again, I've never launched a rocket either. Why am I trying to trying to rock the boat? Eh, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed today's video and have fun.